Hello everybody, Alex Supply here from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to give you 10 tips to get the very best results from your trading. And included in this video will be a free PDF that you can download. Now everybody that follows this channel must know about our Double in a Day Forex website where we have an EA which is a Forex trading tool that gives a trader the ability to double the account in one trade using a top-up process. I must stress this is a manual trading process. You've got to find the, the transaction, activate the EA, and it will then do top-ups that double your account in one trade. And what the beauty of that is that once a top-up happens, uh, the deal becomes totally risk-free. In other words, your stops become break-even stops and you carry no risk. Now, in the training for this particular EA, we have included this PDF which you can see on your screen and which is downloadable from this website to show you how you can best find trades that will double your account. Now, I must stress this is not an easy technique because your stops are tiny and your targets are big and you are looking for high volatile breakout. And that's the point of trading in general. You only make money from the price moving from point A to point B and you also want the price to move to point B as quickly as possible. And those are the type of trades that we use in the double in a day process. So I looked at this and I said, well, look, this has got general application to all traders. All traders are looking for those kind of trades and that's why I'm making this video. I'm making this PDF available to anybody who trades the Forex market. I'm not going to go through these 10 points in detail uh, because you can download the PDF and really go through them in detail. They have a lot of references to other websites which help you find the information that you need. So let's just go through the tips that I give to people that are trading the double in a day process and obviously you can take those tips into account for your own trading technique. So the first thing I say to people is use volatile currencies. Currencies that are not volatile are not going to move from point A to point B very quickly. They're going to doodle around doing nothing. They are not volatile. So even if you get the direction right, you're going to wait three or four days for them to reach your target. You want a currency that's highly volatile that will break through and reach your target within an hour or two hours. So use highly volatile currencies. And the MATF net website provides all that information for you it tells you which are the volatile currencies then the next point is obviously trade the volatile times of the day now that varies from currency to currency but in general when the markets open in the UK or in the US those are volatile times but as I said you have to look at each currency to see where their main volatility lies and that's the time where you can trade from A to B very quickly because those are the volatile times of the day. Then I say do not use lagging forex trading techniques. Now quite honestly if you are using moving average crossovers and those kind of techniques they are so lagging. You need to to be very clever you need to be, use support and resistant bounces because the the double a day technique requires you to catch almost 100% of the move so in other words you need to bounce off support and go to resistance or something like that so don't use lagging techniques when you are going for these really dynamic trades and then the fourth point is use volatility breakout technique so if if you're not using a bounce technique then use a volatility breakout technique that provides very quick moves and in general again I'm going to give you a tip that those occur when there's a trend line violation in a volatile time of the day in a volatile market so you need to find those currencies and you'll see them they how to find them on the chart they look like long candles if you spot a long candle 
and then you relate that long candle back to the time of day, the strategy that got you into that long candle. That is the secret of forex trading. Now, that leads me into point six, which is analyze history. That's what I just showed you, told you to do. Go to the chart, find the long candle, find out when it happens, find out what kind of signals get you into that long candle. You have to sit and analyze history to get yourself to be really competent at, for, at forex trading. Then I skip point five because I mentioned point six ahead of time. Trade during the volatile days of the week. There are certain days where the market is sleepy. There are other days when it is highly volatile, like a Thursday or Friday is when a lot of announcements happen, and that is when the vo the market is volatile and it moves from A to B very quickly. So you've got to be clever analyze the market, see which are the volatile uh, days of the week. And again, I must stress, mataf.net provides you with all that information. We're getting into very specific things about the double in a day uh, techniques, and I'm saying de design your own double in a day strategy. So whatever you feel comfortable with the way you can catch that long candle that moves from A to B very quickly. Find that technique yourself. And uh, on the website, we provide those techniques. Just go to the website. It's free. It's open. It's not only open to owners of the EA. Just go and look at the website and the menu on the website and you'll find all that trading material. Okay, and then don't rely on luck. When you find these strategies, make them your own. Backtrade them and find the results. Build your own confidence. The psychology of trading is highly important and you can't rely on luck. So do your homework, backtrade, maximize your chances of success. And as I've just mentioned, I always mention them one step ahead, is your trading philosophy should be good. If you've got a philosophy, if you make two bad trades in a row and you say, oh, no, this doesn't work and you walk away from something, then you, clearly your philosophy is not right. You haven't done enough back trading. You, uh, you haven't done your homework properly. So get your f trading psychology right. Then the other thing is consider alternative approaches. You cannot trade the, the forex market with one technique. You need to be a master of many techniques. So uh, uh, develop the skills, do the back trading, get your psychology right, find the proper time of days, do your homework by looking at when the big moves in the market happen and that will increase your chances of success tremendously. Now, here's a bonus tip number 11, and it is most probably the most important. Now, all millionaire forex traders that I know think like this. And as I explained earlier, a lot of forex success depends on your philosophy and your psychology, how you trade forex. A lot of people go and do a course, they learn about Fibonacci, they rush into the market, and they're trying to apply Fibonacci wherever they can. It's the wrong way round. What, you, what the really successful traders do is they follow this process. Firstly, they identify the type of transaction they want to trade. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the type of transaction that you would want to trade is if the price moves from point A to point B very quickly. Let's take that as an example. So then what they then do is they go to the charts and they identify the price action they want to trade. So in this particular case, let's say the price action that they want to trade is a four hour candle that has moved more than a hundred pips. So what they would do is they'd go to the four hour charts and find candles that have moved more than 100 pips. So this is what I call reverse engineering. So in other words, they're not trying to apply a force, a trading technique on the market. They are saying to the market, teach me how you want to be traded. So they find, they identify the price action, then they find the price action on the charts. Then they analyze the price action. They say, all right, look at those candles. Those are the ones I want to catch. And they analyze those, those candles. They say, when did that candle happen? What caused that breakout? What kind of trading signals were given prior to the breakout? 
and they analyze that and, and you'll find that a lot of those candles happen at the same time of day or after the same kind of event and you'll also find that there are specific signals that present themselves when that kind of price action happens so then they know the price action they want to find they identified them on the chart they then analyze that and they've got more information about the price action they are hunting then only as the last step they identify trading techniques to catch that price action and th these trading techniques obviously can be anyone's from straddling the price tr uh, action at a particular uh, time of day or using trend line violations or using rsi divergences plus trend line violations or support and resistance bounces or breakouts those kind of techniques to get into those high volatility trades that run from a to b very quickly and close out and make them very wealthy so there's a bit of work involved there's a bit of homework involved but what they do is they use reverse engineering they do not impose any technique on the market they are open-minded they say the market wants me to trade it in a certain way i'm going to learn from the market how it wants me to trade the market it's a, a very unusual philosophy or psychology that these winners use they acknowledge that the market is boss they take their ego out of the equation they say, boss, teach me how you want to be traded. And then they simply listen to the market and say, oh, you want me to trade you on a trend violation basis or a divergence basis or a volatility breakout basis or a, 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 trend, a, a support and resistance bounce method. And they don't only apply one of them. They say, oh, here's a setup that's ideal for one of those approaches. So th please take this tip very seriously. It's, I call it the reverse engineering tip. It is the philosophy and psychology that winners use. Now, by the way, uh, you know, I often uh, read the uh, Daily Forex website, pretty informative website, got great articles on it. And here's an example of an article there where it says, uh, when are the best times to trade Forex, which actually covers a lot of what I've already said. And please go and use this link. Uh, the links, all the links that I've spoken about in this video are in the commentary and in the description of the video. So they're very easy to find. The links will not work on the video itself. So go and, go and have a look at uh, this website. Pretty good information on that website. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.